Why, hello there, I'm Professor Joel, and welcome to another episode of Planet Scooby Reviews. This week we are covering The Curse of Viking Lake, which originally aired on September 10th, 1977. It's the first episode of Season 2 of The Scooby-Doo Show. This episode sees the gang up in Newfoundland, Canada. If you don't know where that is, it's on the east side of Canada. If you know about the movie Titanic, it's kind of near where the Titanic sank, so you know it's a cold place in the winter. And cold indeed it is because the gang are pretty much dressed in their winter clothing throughout this episode. Newfoundland is also where we know Vikings settled when they came across from Europe over here to North America, where I am. I'm up in Canada. I'm not in Newfoundland. I'm in Ontario, which is in central Canada. So, anyway, the gang go up there to go fishing with their Uncle John. Well, it's not their Uncle John. It's Velma's Uncle John. And Uncle John is missing when they arrive at, the can at his cabin. He has been snatched, apparently, by Vikings, but the gang don't know this. You'll find this out later as you watch my review. If you haven't seen my reviews before, spoilers galore. If you'd like to own this episode on DVD, well, you can't. That's right. I'm shouting as this episode has never, ever, 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 ever been released on DVD, Blu-ray, VHS, or any media, ever. And that is a travesty, if you ask me. Techno Viking does not approve. <laughs> the episode opens up on a lone cabin set near Viking Lake. A man, who is Velma's Uncle John, sits at his desk writing in a journal when he hears a loud horn blow outside. Looking outside, he sees a Viking longship row by. Distracted, the man does not see a Viking sneak up from behind him. The Viking threatens Uncle John with the fact that he needs to pay the price for disrupting the sacred Viking burial ground. We then cut to the gang in the mystery machine. They are all decked out in their winter clothing as Newfoundland is notoriously frigid. It sure was nice of your Uncle John to invite us up to go fishing, Velma. Daphne is certain the lake will be frozen over. When the gang arrives at Uncle John's cabin, they find a warm fireplace, a pot of coffee brewing, but no Uncle John. Daphne thinks that maybe he just went outside to catch some trout for breakfast. Well, maybe he went out to catch some trout for breakfast. That is until they find Uncle John's logbook, where he writes that the ghostly Vikings have been haunting the lake. It's kind of funny that Uncle John would invite these kids up when he knew the lake was haunted. Oh well. In the logbook, he also writes that he has solved the mystery, but his handwriting trails off before he can fully explain. Also in the book, they find drawings of the Viking ruins, and Fred believes that this might be a clue. While the gang are discussing the mystery at hand, Scooby spots a Viking outside the window. Dashing outside, they find large footprints disappearing into the woods. These footprints do not have any heel to them, and Daphne finds that unusual. Daphne, Velma, and Freddy go outside and follow the footprints while Shaggy and Scooby go investigate the lake. Searching at the legs, Scooby and Shaggy soon run into the ghostly Viking ship and are snagged on board. Chased by three different Vikings, Scooby and Shaggy escape their clutches by jumping into the frigid lake. Reuniting, the gang head into town where they tell Sheriff Swinson about the missing Uncle John and the Viking ghosts. The Sheriff also tells them that two young geologists have gone missing. Freddy shows the Sheriff Uncle John's journal as well as the ruins within. Instead of, well, <laughs> I don't know, Collecting the journal as evidence and investigating for the missing Uncle John, the sheriff passes them on to Mr. Hansen, the local Viking expert and museum curator. Even though the museum is closed, Mr. Hansen is available to translate the runes. I am Hansen. Emergency. Very well. Come in. He tells the gang that the runes speak of an evil curse that was unleashed when the Viking burial ground was disturbed. It's an ancient Viking curse. Feeling as if Uncle John had found the burial ground, the gang returned to the lake to see if they can discover it. Splitting up, Fred, Daphne, and Velma discover a cave with a huge painting of a Viking in it. The cave is also incredibly hot from bursts of steam that shoot out of random holes. They are soon spotted by a Viking and Freddy, Daphne, and Velma seek shelter in a cave room that has a wooden door. Slamming the door shut and barricading it, they find themselves in an altar room with a giant statue of Odin and a Viking praying to him. The Viking ghost works some hocus pocus and some Steam shoots up and it traps the gang in a new hidden room. Fortunately, they are accidentally rescued by Scooby and Shaggy who open the secret entrance after Scooby is blown onto the statue head by some steam. Daphne discovers a secret elevator and the gang take it down to where they spot the Vikings loading machinery off the Viking longship and onto a rail cart. The gang also discovers some steam 
turbines that are being used to generate power. Fortunately, Uncle John is down there as well, and he's hanging from a cage that is attached to the ceiling. With some quick thinking, Scooby rescues Uncle John, but of course, they are spotted by the Vikings. After a quick chase, Uncle John sneaks off to get the sheriff, and the gang end up trapping the Vikings. So it's revealed that the Vikings are Mr. Hansen and the two missing geologists. The geologists had discovered some uranium on the lakeshore and devised a scheme to mine it and make millions. Or in today's money, billions. Kids, do not try this at home. Uranium is incredibly radioactive and exposure to it will cause a whole host of problems later on in life. You will never escape. I give this episode a 7 out of 10. While I like the idea of ghost vikings and they have a bit of personality in this episode, they are also a bit boring. Only one of them really seems to talk <laughs> while the other two just chase the gang around. On the other hand, the lead viking does look super cool and imposing. I wish they just stuck to one viking or they made the other two vikings a little more interesting. The caves and tunnels filled with bursts of steam was also neat. I, I enjoyed that. And there is some good comedy in this episode. In fact, the first third of this episode is pure Scooby gold. Or maybe in this case, pure Scooby uranium. The creepy setup with Uncle John vanishing during the lightning storm is amazing and spooky. And the Viking Museum curator explaining the curse sets a real doomish mood. It's unfortunate from here that it just turns out into a repetitive chase scene episode. Maybe I was expecting more as this takes place in my home country of Canada, but I just felt they didn't do enough with the Viking mythology as they could. While I still don't see myself revisiting this anytime soon, I would still love to own it on DVD because I do feel it is essential Scooby-Doo viewing. If you like this episode of Planet Scooby Reviews, be sure to hit like or subscribe. It really helps new viewers find me and gives me a hint of what you guys Guys want to see. Also, if you'd like to request a video, leave a comment below. I do get a lot of requests, so please keep it to one request if possible. Until next week, stay spooky. You will never escape.